they are rage. Brutal, without mercy. But you, you will be worse. Rip and tear until it is done. What the? What the fuck is going on? Ugh, well, this is mildly annoying. Zombie? Gimme, 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 gimme! Ah, that's better. Hmm, gonna need something with a bit more punch. Aw, oh, how cute! It's called the little fucking gun. Was this used for a super soaker party? How long have I been asleep for? I need some air. The hell is this? We have to contain this. Contain me? Excuse me, I've been asleep for who knows how long. What'd I do to you, bitch? Fuck off. Ah, my pride and joy. Hey, hey, who left this stain on my helmet? As punishment, I'll break one of their fingers before ripping out their intestines. That'll get the message across. Crap, this is UAC tech. Let's see what the casualty percentage is. Probably a hundred. Cannot determine the cause of the demonic invasion until the Resop satellite is brought back online. The fuck? Welcome. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. I'm a man and a half. I don't need some Optimus Prime wannabe getting in my way. How do I get out of here? Fucking up zombies. The best part of waking up. Now this is a big gun. Not a big fucking gun, but it will do. Hmm? Oh, it's you! Let's dance! Demonic presence at unsafe levels. Lockdown in effect. That seems extremely dangerous. Let's touch it! It summons more fodder for me? Today is gonna be a good day! Don't stop me now! I'm having a good time ripping out your spine! At unsafe levels? As opposed to safe demonic levels? What the hell does that even mean? Well, that was slightly amusing. Time to leave. The fuck's a vault tech? 
cannot be allowed to leave this place. He would ruin everything. Seriously, did I piss in your cereal or something? What's your deal? I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Yep, he's reaping the benefits. Piss off, I'm gonna go rip and tear some stuff. Okay, bye. Now that's how you begin a game. What up, everybody? This is Kingdom Key 23 here, and welcome to my next Let's Play of Doom 2016. I know I said with my last um, Doom-related video on Sigil that I was kind of burnt out, but you know what? Doom Eter By the time this video comes out, Doom Eternal will be out, and I am so freaking hyped that I decided to go back and play the game that brought Doom into a new age. So let's not waste any time and get into it. So this is going to be a uh, full playthrough, of course. I'm going to be going for all the uh, upgrades and um, try to complete all of the uh, challenges. I'm not overly concerned with the combat performance rankings, but everything else I want to try and get 100% on. And we picked up a codex just now. If you've seen my review of uh, Doom 2016, you know anything about this game. It's that there is a lot of interesting lore behind it that ties into the Doom mythos and... Oh, I was trying to do a death from above there, but we can make that guy explode. But yeah, it's really interesting stuff. I would highly recommend checking it out when you ever get the chance. I'm not going to just... This is not going to be the whole Let's Play where just me sitting here and be like, Okay, now if we turn to uh, the Slayer's Testament number four, you'll clearly see that it says here. It's like, no, go see um, an, like an analytical video on that. We're just here to have fun and kill demons. So, yeah, let's get into it here. I've already got quite a few already. We got the Possessed Soldiers, which is kind of annoying, but we can manage. We can manage with these guys. Then, of course, we got the uh, return of the Classic Imps. I mean, you can't have a Doom game without Imps. They're just running around shooting their fireballs, and they can be annoying at moments, because they'll sometimes they'll just run away from you, and I, I'm, sometimes I'm wondering if they're, like, luring you into a trap, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm the Doom Slayer. I'll do what I want. Oh, crap. Let's not die on the first, uh, a battle arena here. That's kind of the setup with this game. It's battle arenas and like interspersed or um, sort of like challenges. And it's fun for the most part, but it can get uh, redundant towards the end of the game, which it looks like they're fixing for Doom Eternal. We got these um, just these possessed guys wandering around here. They're, they're pretty much just fodder. And even in Doom Eternal, that just seems to be the role. Like you need to glory kill someone, then just need all the health and armor and all that good stuff, just go right ahead and do it. That's that's all they're good for here. But yeah, the glory kills, uh, they still seem split with Doom fans, and don't you dare him. Don't you freaking dare. Don't you do it. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is sad. I'm playing on Ultra Violence right now. I've beaten this game on Nightmare. Before. Look, I'll show a screenshot right now. There's my proof of Nightmare. And I've even played through the arcade mode on Ultra Nightmare. I haven't finished it, and I don't have all the nice, juicy red blood medals, but hey, you know what? I, I think it's still... I'm still proud of myself for getting the far. And I hear a zombie somewhere. Should I go find him? Is it even worth the hassle? Nah, let's just... Move. Wait a minute. I he's nearby. Now, now this is going to bug me. Uh, Doom, Doom 2016, heart-pounding action and searching for a random zombo to kill. Oh, there he is. <laughs> wait, wait, ha thanks, zombie, for making me waste all that time to find you. See, most useless enemies ever. But then again, they can be helpful with resources and whatnot. Yeah, the great thing about this game, too, is if you ever seen the behind-the-scenes stuff from... Was it Noclip? They did a fascinating documentary about Doom's history because you know, after Doom 3, there was really nothing uh, new like Doom related and found one of our many uh, Doom guy action figures there. I love these things so much. There's just, I just love collecting them. It just puts a big old smile on my face. Let's just keep moving on here. But yeah, um, in it, 
Doom, Doom 4 was originally supposed to have a very Call of Duty-like gameplay style. It's just, uh, that wouldn't have done it because it would have just blended in with... Ooh, nice headshot there. It just would have blended in with all the other shooters there. I need to stop getting hit by these zombies here. They're giving me a lot of problems. And, yeah, it would have just... It was all focused on all these big story elements and, um... Is a lot more slow paced. It definitely doesn't have the uh, same fun factor that this game has. Where it's supposed to be high speed action, the story is only supposed to be second to the uh, gameplay. It just, it wouldn't have worked. So I'm glad id Software actually took the time to go back and fix this issue. And let's wait for, actually now, nah, let's just keep moving. Because we can wait for the grenade to uh, recharge, but we'll, we'll get better um, items later on. Uh, later, uh, Pradar suit power-ups that will let us recharge faster, which will come in handy. So let's jump over these guys here. So you can do a nice double kill, maybe? No? No? Okay. Alright, we'll just take this zombie out. Take that guy out, and all good. So let's get an auto map over here. This should reveal a good chunk of the area. And there's also... Um, unlock the first Praetor suit, one of the Praetor suit upgrades we can get. So here's our map here, which, yeah, something you rarely see in a modern shooter, a map you can use to guide you. Like, some games do have it, like open world games, but something like this, like, look at the amount of detail on it. It's really impressive. Like, yeah, there are a lot of arena areas, but it does stop to let you actually go around and explore, which I always think has been a great aspect of any Doom game. Not just the shooting and all that great stuff. Just sort of searching around for secrets and exploring the world. All right, so we're going to put this um, Praetor suit token we got into uh, hazard protect protection so we take less damage from the barrels. There we go. All right, now let's go ahead and put a grenade to use here and blow up some guys. And we got another little impy boy here who's going to wish he didn't show up. Bam. Take care of you. And I know there's another one. Woo, <laughs> nice one. They throw like a Kamehameha Hadouken at you. Do not want that. It does massive damage, especially on the higher difficulties. A nightmare. It could probably just take off all of your health. I, d I don't remember. I haven't played the regular nightmare mode in a little bit, like in the main campaign. Because when you play the arcade mode, you have all of the um, you have all of the bells and whistles. So you know you'll have like armor right away. And darn, I was hoping to get a nice shot on him, but oh well. Just take him out the old-fashioned way and watch all that blood spurt out from his chest is great. I love the animations. They are just fantastic in this game. I know some people are um, find the glory kills hit or miss, but I really enjoy them. I think they just add so much charm and personality to the game. And they've done stuff like this before in other shooters, like even in uh, Duke Nukem Forever. But here it works because it's fast, the um, animations are flashy, and they do serve a purpose to restore your health and later on some armor. So... Hmm, what's this doing here? I wonder what happens if we pull it. Huh. That, that, that tune sounded familiar. Well, 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 what do we have here? That's right, we have one of our secrets, and it is a secret Doom level. We get to unlock them this way. So, if you saw my review, I know I keep going back to my review, I mentioned that I didn't care too much for the, uh, secret levels in Doom 2016. Ah, I think over time I've gotten a bit better with them, but I don't know. Just look at the lighting. It just, it looks worse than what it did in, um, you know, OG Doom. And I get it. The visuals haven't aged all that great in the original, like, especially if you're playing, like, the vanilla version, but there's still a charm to them, and they kind of create this unique atmosphere that's kind of lost with, uh, this, these, uh, recreated maps. But I figured for bonus episodes, we're going to actually play through them. So it's not going to be easy because you're not like decked out. So you kind of have to um, really manage your resources, especially against because there's going to be a lot of possessed soldiers and they don't go down in one hit like the original zombie marines did. So we not looking forward to them, but you know what? It'll be a fun challenge.
So I'll try to put on my happy face for you. No, seriously, it will be fun. So over here we got some weapon mods, and they are very vital to survival. And the one that I love using the most are the explosive shots. They do such massive damage, and I'll find myself coming back to them often. And probably when um, I play Doom Eternal, I'll be, uh, yeah, I do have a point. So let's go ahead and upgrade it. So you do get points, too, from uh, secrets hunting. So which one should I do? Let's do speedy recovery. But yeah, in uh, Doom Eternal, they're supposed to be sticky bombs. So that is going to be awesome to use. And I know the idea behind the Doom, the new Doom games is that you should really focus on switching to between weapons. And that's what I try to do as well. But I always find myself using the regular shot, the uh, shotgun as a focal point. I don't know. It just puts me in a comfortable position. So then I sort of... It makes it easier for me to sort of like choose which... Um, weapons I want to use. Like, shut up. It's just, it's my happy gun, okay? Shut up. <laughs> I like me some shotguns. A very old school like that. And you also noticed I'm using, um, the gun, uh, the position of the gun is in the middle, and that's be that's because it's, uh, similar to the original game when the Doom Marine would hold it that way. It's just, I don't know, I feel it helps. It helps me focus, and I, it's just a nice throwback. I could have sworn there was an imp up there, and I'm hearing him somewhere. I don't know, I'm getting paranoid because that Mick Gordon music is still jamming. Yeah, I, I hear him. There he is. Come here. See if I can get him. Oh, yeah, take that. See, I love using this thing. It's so satisfying. But, yeah, Mick Gordon does great work with the soundtrack. It does... There's something just unique about it. It has that... Tries to capture the heavy metal feel of the original games, but... It also has, like, this sort of rawness. Like, raw power to it. And I believe the... Some of the noises you hear, they're actually the uh, chainsaw from the original game, which I think is a really nice touch. All right, now I believe... Oh, I passed it. You know, I keep forgetting about this because I also want to collect all the codex entries as well. No, not the codex of ultimate wisdom. I actually know what that is, unlike the avatar. So yeah, come over here and there should be another codex entry. I always forget about that one. It's just tucked away in that corner. But yeah, lots of stuff on the UAC and just how effed up they are in this game compared to Doom 3. Like, Doom 3, I mean, I guess what they were trying to do is for the greater good, but here it's just totally fucked up. They're just completely cult-like in nature. And, like, we'll meet, we'll uh, talk more with Dr. Samuel Hayden later, who's like, Oh, I'm doing this for the greater good. The Argent Energy is going to supply humanity for the rest of our lives. But, you know, it's attracting the demons, so that, that wouldn't be, that's not a good thing. I mean, come on, your whole facility, all of your employees are probably dead, so I don't know if that'd be a good thing. I also like Samuel Hayden's voice, too. He sounds like um, Optimus Prime for some reason. Yeah, aren't you supposed to be watching out for, like, uh, sentient beings and all that? What, what's up with that, Optimus? Clearly, Optimus Prime gone bad. Right, so, I keep forgetting I don't have the um, full effect of the uh, shotgun grenades yet. And, hello. Goodbye. All right, here another one nearby. Where are you, imp? Oh, these imps drive me crazy. They just like to run all over the place. See, what? Stop running! Come back here! Well, it's like you can't handle um a, 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 a guy who has pretty much demolished countless and countless demons. It's like <laughs> running away would be a smart thing to do or something. Go figure. All right, they're going to go over here and... I don't know, I still hear the, the music playing, so... I'm just going to slowly walk back... And grab another little buddy here. You see, I love these things so much. I would really want, like, a whole collection of them. It is the uh, classic guy model based off the original Doom guy uh, armor. So, yep. Nice triumph. Yeah, for, first, w when they're with their brethren, they think they can take me. But when they're alone, they're like, oh, crap. I'm, j I'm just a poor, lonely imp. Don't mind me. <sighs> All right, let's keep... We have some more Zambos over here. Let's just blast them with a grenade. So we can get him. Yeah! See, again, so satisfying to use. That's why I love it so much. Again, it's just my, like, my safety net. When I'm feeling scared, I just, like, want to keep it close. Actually, it reminds me of, like, a Family Guy episode where there was, like, like, a gun. And it was just like, I'm lonely. Could you hold me? It was like a gun, gun puppet or something. And I'm just like... Oh, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> then again, a lot of Family Guy jokes were pretty risque, and now they're just dumb. I haven't watched it in years, man. It's still going on. I know they did a uh, crossover with The Simpsons, but 
I'm just like, nah, not interested. I feel like Family Guy is one of those shows you, like, grow out of as you get older. But you know what? I'll never grow out of this game, of this whole franchise, for all of that wanton destruction and breaking a possessed soldier's arm off. But yeah, I'm just always a fan of the glory kills. I was, like, of course a fan of the brutal kills when Brutal Doom came out, which... You know they have got, they got, they had to have gotten some inspiration from Brutal Doom, let's be honest. Like, Hugo Martin is clearly a big, they're all big Doom fans. The amount of attention to detail with these games, to the classic games, is extraordinary. So, you know they had to have dabbed in the mod scene or be like, oh, this is sweet, we gotta add this. <laughs> we, we, need, we need all of the uh, bloodshed. Fueled the, the, the appetite of those deranged maniacs out there, so... Yeah, I guess that makes me one, huh? <laughs> I know. I get sad sometimes whenever I bring up my um, kind of crazy obsession with this game. And Oh, it's over already. <laughs> Thought there was uh, more demons going to come. I, I might be thinking of Nightmare Mode. Let me just make sure I have everything before we move on. Yeah, we're uh, pretty good here. So, fortunately, I can't upgrade the shotgun yet. But let's just get some goodies here. I still prefer the glory kills. Maybe because they're just in such crisp HD and... Again, the animations are over the top and flashy, although you can't feel like the power behind the brutal kills. Right, let's go in here. Let's get into the UAC here. Let's try to figure out what is going on here and uh, see how many people have survived. Uh, given that it's the UAC, I doubt not many. Welcome to the UAC. Now 221 accident free days. <laughs> it's funny because everyone died. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alright, let's just exit. And with that, I'm just going to call it an episode right here. So, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you want to see more from me, click on the subscribe button at the end of this video. Welp, I will see you next time for more Doom 2016. Let's rip and tear until it is done. Take care. Bye. <laughs>